If your video clips have multiple sources of audio built within that clip, you're gonna wanna check this out, jump in Resolve. I gotta show you something. Sometimes when I'm filming a video and I've got multiple people in the video, I'll put a lav mic on each person and then I have that audio go into my camera so that one person's recorded on the left channel, one person's recorded on the right channel. And in Resolve, we can select which channel we wanna use for a given piece of audio. So in this case, I have an audio clip right here. Now I'm not showing my video clips cause uh, it's got some of the kids in there. So we don't wanna show that, but I got my audio clip selected. And if we come to our inspector and then we come over to the file section. Now I don't know about you guys, but I don't really use the file section here, but you might wanna start using it because when I click on it, if I come down to the bottom here, we have audio configuration. And now I can see the different audio tracks for my particular clip. Now let's say I'm looking in my uh, media pool at a clip. For example, if I just come and open up this guy right here, when I have it selected in my media pool and I've got my inspector open and I'm in the file tab, I can see and preview the different audio tracks that are part of this file. So now down here, I have a right and left channel, which were both recorded separately. So if I go in here and just put the little playhead right there and I just hit play. Is that my bubble gum? So there's one person. Now, if I go to the track number two, <laughs> the other channel, <laughs> Now you hear the other person. And I've also got one where it's got them combined, where they would all be in the same track. Now, most of the time when I record separately like this, I'm gonna want one person in one track and one person in another track. But being able to take a look in the inspector here gives me a quick way to see how many audio tracks are associated with that video clip. Do I have more than one? Do I just have one? Sometimes you may have a whole bunch of them. So this gives you an option to preview them, see which ones you wanna use. And then when you bring your clip in your timeline, you can make sure you've got your correct audio source selected. And you've also got the option here to change the format. So you can use your stereo, you can do mono, you can do adaptive, or you can do a custom where it'll open up our window here in the clip attributes, click your drop down here and you can choose whichever one you want or set it up however you might want to do that. So this new little tip here is really handy when it comes to working with multiple audio tracks in a given video clip. I did that on a recent project I was on. I had two cameras, but I had four tracks of audio between the two cameras. So being able to preview it like this just makes it handy in helping you sort out where different things are, getting a quick preview instead of having to dump things in your timeline and then figure it out from there. So another cool little feature here when it comes to audio that was added in DaVinci Resolve 19 beta and it's right here in the edit tab. That wraps up this quick tip Tuesday, guys. And as always, if you wanna take your audio to the next level, learn the ins and outs of how to work with your audio, check out my audio course, Audio Essentials for Video Editors in DaVinci Resolve. I'll link it down below. If you're interested, check it out. All right, guys, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.